just took a shower and I look like a starved Victorian child. <clears throat> I'm just very low energy in May because I'm just sad about the weather. It's supposed to be so warm because it's 21 degrees outside, but it's so rainy and so cold. And I just feel very like my eye bags right now. Blue. But I've started reading um, Rouge by Mona Oval and I am seven chapters in. To be honest, I want to talk about how Mona Awad writes male characters in general. I feel like it has to do something with her life experiences and the way she looks at men. But why do we have all these... I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Why do we have all these strong ex-con tattooed guys? I don't like that. I feel very uncomfortable because... I mean, that also has to do with my upbringing and what I've been seeing in media. I'm just very triggered by men in general. You know, those like very bulky, actually like very toxic masculinity men, they just creep me out so much. And it's fair. Have you seen the news? Like, do you read the news? Of course I'm triggered by men like that. So when I read Mona Awad's books sometimes when men like this to be honest all men that I've read about in her novels are like this correct me if I'm wrong in the comments please but I just feel so uncomfortable and it's giving Colleen Hoover out of all people like please girly please I don't know I don't know if I'm going to read someday the 13 ways to look at the fat girl book if there is a guy god forbid in the first place but god forbid even more if there is a guy that is like this the stereotypical toxic masculinity guy but also I feel like there is a very thin line between being like relatable you know there's a line um of relatability and cringe so if cringe is here relatability is here then mona what is walking on the thin eyes because sometimes stuff that i read it's like yeah cool and everything but it's giving tiktok romance when it's a book about literally girl that is obsessed with skincare and her mom just died exactly so far the storyline is kind of interesting i don't know if she has to gap about it for 400 pages more or whatever if she has to yap about it for that much because sometimes i feel like mona awad's books could be so shorter and so much easier to read just because the pacing would be faster because sometimes especially when she starts mm, describing the magical realism aspects it just it becomes very time consuming i can't wait for all of this to finish Yay! Great, 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 great. But somehow now, out of all, all the time that I had, I finally want to talk. May has been, I think it's 12th of May today or 13th, not matter. It's not matter. I have been sick for the past three weeks. No, this week is the third week. <laughs> don't, don't question. Don't question. I'm sick, okay? My state of mind reflects my room mess 
gotta be real from time to time <laughs> i have read three books so far in may and i'm reading starting to read rouge by mona awad the books that i have read were the stranger by albert camus which was just um, one sitting read and then I read All's Well by Mona Awad and Frog by Mo Yan. I think the favorite book out of those was probably Albert Camus' The Stranger because it was fast paced and I'd say my rankings are probably The Stranger, All's Well and Frog which might seems silly because frog is like has a, won a Nobel prize in literature i think and well deserved don't get me wrong it's just i feel i feel like in this state of mind it was so hard to get into this book although i did learn a lot and i think that this book is very important for people who want to learn more about chinese culture and the realities of the time I have just finished the book and I forgot the name oh my god Gugu, Gugu the auntie like that motherly figure she's just a woman who everyone can picture in their heads I, th I feel like from your city or your town, your village or whatever there's always this one person who reminds you of Google, who is that one just sweet but has their own values and is very assertive. I love women like that. I love women in general. Also, I've learned a lot about the after World War II realities of China, which was very interesting to read about. And also it's about human relations and my girly Chen Mei was a questionable character. Yeah, cannot say that much about the book because I feel like I have to reread it like after some time. Maybe when I'm in my mid-twenties because I will be more mature and I will, you know, understand it better or get into it more i'm just a sick teenager who is struggling so looks like all as well much fit me right now and mona avad's writing oh dear i feel like she is so good in tying in like magical realism or somewhat of like mysticism in her stories while also being pretty realistic because when I was reading All's Well, I thought, yeah, you know, I would not have that much patience with those kids. And also, I liked how <laughs> Miranda is actually going, you know, more and more insane with each chapter. The only thing I would say I don't like the amount of intercourse that was in the book because i just don't find it interesting some chapters that regard only hugo i don't need to know anymore about an ex-convict i don't care how this dude named mm, energy he is i don't yeah but I loved all the references, I loved the, all, all of the theatrical aesthetic, all of the drama kid aesthetic Even though I was never a drama kid, I would never become a drama kid Because... Actually, good question, why did I never become a drama kid? But I loved just reading about ex actress now teaching having to cope with her injury 
and struggling with her like career because imagine how it feels you just have to switch everything because of a trauma and you can't really fix it and it's so much stress i feel like i could at some point relate to her a lot because she did some say some real stuff like hating on everybody <laughs> yes girl she she was born a hater i loved it for her especially when she was mm, speaking honest truth about that one pick me teacher in the school i was like yeah girl i would also think that but never say it loud <laughs> we're not supposed to understand him it's just that I feel like it really does not mean anything and that's the point we are all trying to chase some sort of meaning and extract some sort of meaning from something and learn whatever lesson or moral from any story but the truth is it, it's, it is not there all the time and this is normal because nothing really matters because you know how atoms in order to for the reaction to happen they have to be like at a certain angle certain speed whatever the same is with anything at all really and it can be translated to your relationships to your hobbies to the book that i'm reading because like with frog it is not the time the right time to fully get into the book and I understood it so I will read it later reread it later when I feel better I feel like it makes sense okay so even though I feel depressed sick and I have constant migraines <clears throat> and my nose is congested I will still try to hang out to life and read some books and hopefully get over whatever stuff that's making me sad, right? And you should too. So. She's gonna get scammed by literally every character in this book. I cannot trust anyone. So Tad is literally the most suspicious person ever. He acts in this like pr predator kind of way. I don't know. I really don't like Tad. He also excludes this hyper masculinity, toxic masculinity vibes and I don't really like that also Sylvia our curly Sylvia, she has something evil in her mind I could tell from the beginning of the book so all the red house, I'll call it I think it's the jellyfish house but whatever I just call it the red house because it makes more sense in my head in there obviously they have red jellyfish but they also have some crazy people 
who are obsessed with their looks as far as I collect in my mind I think one of them actually essayed her but she is not really she does not really care about it somehow I am questioning this part of the book so far it's my least favorite monovod book and it is very very similar to bunny but bunny is better because bunny is able to build up that like pinkish dark academia aesthetic and also there are a lot of literary comments and references as well as in all's well but here it just can it reads like an average tiktok novel you know what i mean i know that some people are gonna say oh my god you're bashing book talk maybe i am this this reads so far like something you would get recommended off of book talk and then get disappointed because i don't know i got it from the library because of the fact that i liked monovat's work previously so i wanted to know more about her and I read more of her writing but i ended up being kind of disappointed and i'll check the timeline if rouge was right after bunny because i feel like maybe if all is well came out after rouge mona what could kind of realize that it's not cool to like repeat after herself it sounds it seems so familiar especially the way she describes coming into the house being like all intoxicated and then like and then suddenly i wake up in a bed i don't know where i am blah 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 i don't really like that i want to just finish it honestly and get some other books i have a lovely idea of filming maybe a video talking about my summer reading list because i think it might be interesting i have a few books in my mind for sure that i do want to read in summer i also want to try and read one romance book like feel good book but not like this kind of like rouge because it's not a feel good book i'm gonna try a romance book but i will definitely take it from the library and not buy it because usually when i start reading romance i end up disgusted and it's not to be like um oh, i'm not like any other girls that don't like reading romance i just have not found a good one yet so if you know any good ones please do not recommend me Colleen Hoover or fantasy books with even if they have like a really nice romance plot I don't want to read fantasy sorry sorry but yeah it's something simple like a feel good book without any trigger warnings please i just want one feel good book <laughs> because usually i choose books that i end up like crying through most of them or like at least some parts although i do kind of like that, that's my problem that's a new problem i do pick those books myself but also i just want to try like but also fast-paced because I found out that for example Mona Awad she does tend to stretch out the timing a little bit and if it feels a bit too long at times which is it, it would be fine it would be fine if it would not be 400 pages and Rouge is like it's okay it hooked my attention but then it was like uh, it becomes more uh, with each page so 
my next book is going to be uh, Milk Fat. Finally.